What's up guys, Austin Brady here. I've spent countless hours combing through endless content trying to find the absolute best YouTube channels for filmmakers. We're gonna be going over the top 10 and I'll be throwing some honorable mentions at the end. And if you're new here, I make content about filmmaking, gear, travel, and lifestyle. So if you're into that, subscribe and let's get into it. So number one is Parker Walbeck. I've absolutely loved his channel ever since 2017 when I was starting my journey as a filmmaker. He has no BS tutorials, how-to videos, Videos, reviews, gear, everything you need to go from nothing to full-time. He actually has a course called Full-Time Filmmaker, which goes more in depth. So as for someone who gives immense value and provides a lot for the viewer, I'd absolutely recommend his channel. So number two would be Mitch Thane. He's a good buddy of mine. I've been following his work for a long time now. He started his own production company, Avenue Film Co. quite a few years ago, and since has rebranded to Film Lab. If you want an in-depth, behind-the-scenes, look at what it takes to build a production company, the highs and the lows, and just some entertaining content around the content creation space and actually doing it as a business owner. He's definitely someone I'd recommend checking out and looking at all of his content. So number three would be Edward Lee. He is the king of clean, minimal, and modern. Absolutely love his stuff. He posts a lot about desk setups, gear, how to get different types of shots and different looks. And he also shares some good behind the scenes with productivity and what he does to work with clients. So recommend him if you love that type of style or want to replicate something like that. Number four is Daniel Schiffer. I love his content because he shows you that even with minimal gear and a minimal studio he films in his home, you can create high quality production content, specifically product videos for big name brands. And on top of that, I would also recommend Austin Paul because he does something very similar. He shows you behind the scenes how to actually film product videos for big clients. So Daniel and Austin are great. Check him out. Number five, is Brady Bissett. He's just a super cool guy. Not only does his first name match my last name, but he's just super chill. He teaches cinematography, lighting, humble dude, and I love his content to learn how to light things, how to create better cinematic looks, and just the general art of cinematography. On top of that, I also recommend Carlos Stigliano. Hopefully I said that right. Again, another super chill, humble dude who's just going out there creating great content as a director of photography, doing cinematography, and he shows you his behind the scenes on what he does when he works with clients. Okay, number six would be Eric Floberg. He teaches a lot of really good photo and film type content. He's really inspirational. He goes behind the scenes and shows you, okay, what is it like to be a creator with the finances, the podcast, his studio space, and his style is really unique. I love how he composes his images. Another creator that reminds me of Eric Floberg is Danny Gaveritz. I'm hopefully I'm saying that right too. He's a filmmaker that teaches a lot about film and photo. Pretty inspirational guy. He's actually working on his very own film right now that's going to be released least hopefully soon and he's actually showing on his channel right now exactly how to film a full-length feature and the ups and the downs that that takes you on another person i want to slip in there real quick is mark bone he teaches documentary filmmaking the art of storytelling and just kind of creating that more cinematic feel so if you want to learn more from him he's also a great one to check out okay number seven would be peter mckinnon as well as other creators like him like maddie hapoya and chris howe so which makes sense because they're all buddies that hang out i would say their content is very entertaining. Chris talks a lot about Instagram and photography. Maddie's someone who shares a lot about gear reviews and about cameras, vlogging his life as a creator. And then Peter obviously shares a lot about photography, a lot about YouTube. He's got very entertaining videos and even the sponsored sections on his videos are super entertaining. And he talks a lot about inspirational things about what it means to be a creator. Are we just YouTubers or is he a filmmaker? He's done some big work for a lot of big brands. I would say for him, it's more entertaining just to watch. I don't think I've learned anything specifically that's helped me level up my personal skills or the business side of being a filmmaker, but he is fun to watch. Okay, number eight would be Jacques Crawford. So I haven't watched a ton of his content, but from what I've seen, he makes the most mind-blowing cinematic videos you have ever seen for YouTube. And if you go look up his recent show reel, just the sound design, the footage is absolutely incredible. So check him out, learn what he's doing. He has a lot of great content, very cinematic, very beautiful beautiful as well as educational in the video itself. And someone else that reminds me of Jacques would be Sam Calder, who kind of created and revolutionized his own sort of filmmaking. He creates really good videos with storytelling for travel, works with a ton of different brands. So I highly recommend him. He also has a course where he teaches his process of storytelling as well as his exact editing tips, specifically in DaVinci Resolve, which is the program I use and recommend. 
and he switched over from Premiere Pro to DaVinci, so recommend checking his course and his channel out. Okay, number nine is someone I found recently, and I don't know how I haven't seen him before, Kyle Nutt. He's been doing a ton of work over on Instagram and YouTube and TikTok, huge social media creator. He has really engaging videos. He does a lot of photography work. He also does some YouTube videos with filmmaking and just learning his style, learning how he creates a really nice, upbeat, happy, quick, animated type of vibe. And he also shows you a lot of different techniques that can be used with just a smartphone or just you know any piece of equipment that you have. You don't necessarily have to have the best equipment, but knowing how to use that equipment is really, really important, and he shows you that. And then Nicholas Crystal, he's a really cool creator. He's kind of been MIA recently. He's been working on his own you know, mental health as well as working on his new course, but he's a really meticulous creator that creates really long videos, like 15, 20 minute YouTube videos, but he's able to keep the viewer engaged throughout the whole thing by telling good, meaningful stories and having purpose in his content. So learning from him for productivity and inspiration and also just different types of gear to use, highly recommend him as a filmmaker and someone who's created some really cool content. Okay, so honorable mentions, we'll kind of fly through this real quickly. We have Thomas Flight. He breaks down cinema and movies and films. Landon, by the way, is a really cool content creator. He has a creator podcast where he brings on other creators like Edward Lee, for example, who we mentioned before was on his podcast. And then Nick Sales, he's a really, really talented music video videographer. So he's worked with some of the biggest artists that you can think of. And then Sam Newton, can't have a list without Sam Newton. He's just a goofball of a guy. I don't think I really learned anything from his videos other than it's super entertaining and it's just hilarious. So if you want a good laugh, check out one of his music videos or some of his YouTube videos. And then Hillier Smith is a really talented editor. He's able to take videos and show you exactly how you could improve your edit and he shows you how how his edits have been able to reach insanely high watch time on YouTube just by the music, the sound design, mixing storytelling and emotion with your videos. So check out his channel if you're interested in that. So hopefully this video has given you a couple new creators to follow on your filmmaking journey. We all know how important it is to learn how to use the gear just as much as the gear itself. So if you want my recommendations, I'll link those below or you can check out my kit.co link. That's where I have all of the gear that I use. And thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one. The train is being really loud right now.